Now let's try and fit in a game of Blitz. So we'll pick three minutes for this one. So two, three, two, one. Good luck. Uh, go back to the Carol for this one. So we have the Advance. So H5 is the correct book move. Um, so we might as well play it. Okay, now we're trying to stop this. So we're going to check. Mm, what do I want to do here? Yeah, I'm just going to bring my knight up, I think. Okay. And I'm going to break that pin. Oh, he's happy to trade. So I'm going to take that then. Probably go with a pawn, does. Let's just develop. Okay. What do we want to do? I don't want to get my queen trapped out of the game. Um, I better push the pawn. It's boxing me in a bit though. Might not be very good. Let's come across. I'm just lining up to potentially take. Um, dare a castle. I can't right now because of the knight, right? I'm going to take here and try and give the knight a square. Hit the pawn. Guards. It's dangerous, isn't it? Take, take. Yeah, that can't be good. Let's push here. Hmm. Well, he's happy to trade the bishop. Okay, now I'm going to risk it. Okay, he's pushed forward. So I'll take. Now I think I'm going to have to castle whether I like it or not, but this king side could all collapse in a really quick hurry now. Um, guard the pawn, but he can he can even fly down g4, can't he? I've got a poor position here. Knight up, I'm not sure, it does a lot. He hits my rook, do I give the exchange up? Hmm. I think I've stumbled into a quite a poor position here. Like as in a lost position. Yeah. Let's grab a pawn, but this has to be over surely. Let's hit the queen. We just takes. Let's come across. I'm hoping to play a knight up, but it's a problem, isn't it? Let's do this knight up, hit the bishop. If I take the bishop, this knight hangs here. If he comes down, can I check he's guarded? Let's hit the queen. Here. So he goes back. I think we'll just hit that bishop again. I can get into a mating net here. Actually, it could go wrong here because bishop eventually comes in. It could be a mate problem. Okay, he's just resigned there. Mm, I'm not sure what I've missed there. I know we're better. I mean, we're hitting the pawn for a start, but I'm not sure that's resignable. But he has resigned, so let's see what it was in engine speak. Right, we flip the cameras over here, so we'll get the PGN and see how we actually played in engine language. It felt like we were struggling somewhat, didn't it? So, import the game. We are black for this game, so you can click your menu button and then flip the board and see it from our viewpoint. But we were certainly second best for a lot of that. For much of that game, we were second best, and then he's just resigned. Well, I think it's still a playable position at our level at the end there. I don't think it was critically lost there, but we are actually, we've been much better. 4.5, we actually played a pretty decent game. It felt like we were struggling. It was mainly because of the clock, but I blundered a few times. He had been much better and then blundered it a few times. Much better again. Yeah, but just plus three. So what were the figures? Won't be very good. 74 versus 71%. CPL 56 and 74. So we just flick out of the opening. And we're both going to throw blunders in. But some of them will be a blunder because you haven't finished a blunder. 
but it's always good to learn from them. But this is all okay. Oh, Rooker Cross is a blunder, and I just simply didn't see that the free Rook was hanging. It's just a free Rook, I just didn't see it, which means I've blundered by not taking it. So it doesn't matter what move I make, basically, it's still a blunder because I didn't take the free Rook. And here, I just simply haven't seen that the Rook is hanging, so I haven't taken it again, so I've blundered again. And I've got one more blunder coming up, so we're still basically level to here. So we'll just quickly flick through and see where these other blunders are. But I cannot believe that. A simple rook hanging, and I didn't see it twice. Mm, you just get them days though, don't you, where everything goes wrong. And here I should have actually taken the rook first. I did consider that, but I didn't think it was too risky leaving it. So I was just trying to get the queen off the board. And that was my final blunder. But it's 3.4, so what am I missing there? I should have taken, and I need to see rook to d8, queen back, knight forward. Okay, this is some obviously long line, but I'm hitting the bishop. My own knight hangs, I guess. Um, g4. Yeah, unless you see the whole line, obviously you don't play it, but apparently that was just much better for me. And the engine considers that a blunder. At least that was my final blunder. And then opponent just resigned in this position. Okay, we're plus three better. I can see there's a pawn hanging there or there, but if we miss this one, you can jump forward and hit two knights. So I'm not quite sure why I resigned there. I think at our level that's still very playable, especially as my opponent was up on the clock, but it is what it is.